Hello, welcome aboard. So, you'd be last in line to be first. I'm not sure you understand the concept of first, but I think the floor you've chosen will help clear things up. How many of you are there? One? Well, let me be the first to congratulate you on winning this game. Is this the first time on the ride for you? Well, good. I hope you really enjoy the ride. To make your trip more pleasant, our host will give you extra instructions when you need them most. Have fun! Type your name. Mmm, tasty. The key you will be buzzing in on is the letter B. B, as in Brannigan, Laura. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by my first first aid kit. It's fun to have boo-boos. And now, please welcome your host, Cookie. First of all, I'd like to welcome you to the game. And don't feel bad about playing alone. I mean, you always get to be number one. Well, after me, of course. Okay, now remember, first impressions are always important, so don't embarrass yourself in the first question. Let's ride. Now select the... This one's called... First I turn on the TV... Here's the question. Which one of these pairs does not list the first thing first? Beverly Hills 90210 Melrose Place? The Simpsons be- Dope! <laughs> what the hell am I doing? That didn't sound like Beavis at all. It sounds like Pat. God, that was terrible. That doesn't really matter. You got it wrong anyway. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Dallas came before Dynasty. Don't you even care who shot JR? What happened to you? Where's your compassion? Hit your buzzer to select the value you want. Here's your category. Motley Crue plays its first bar mitzvah. Okay, I want you to look at this analogy and tell me which answer best completes it. Heather Locklear is to rocker Tommy Lee as Lilith of Jewish legend is to whom? Adam, Jesus, Abraham, or Richie Sambora? Jesus! <laughs> the correct answer is... Before Pamela Anderson, Heather Locklear was the woman who was made for Tommy Lee. Before Eve, Lilith was the woman who was made for Adam. Adam later went on to do time in jail and videotape himself frolicking with Eve. Somehow the tape got out of the Garden of Eden and was widely copied and distributed. Oh, oh yeah, they left a lot of stuff out of the Bible. Alright, Buzz. The category is... My First Love. Okay, you ready for this question? 3997 is on the table. Here it is. What should be the first thing you think of when you think of Stephen First? He was that doctor on ER, he was that priest on Amen, he was that cop in the Dream Team, or he was that pledge in Animal House. Now that was Saint Elsewhere. Saint Nowhere. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the right answer. He played Flounder in the movie Animal House. Huh, I learned something every day around here. I thought he was the beaver on Leave it to Beaver. Okay, give it up for... Jerry Mathers, not Stephen First, as the beaver. You know, many folks think of the Cleavers from Leave it to Beaver as the typical nuclear family. Keeping that in mind... If Wally decides to enact a first strike policy against the beaver, what will he do? Tell on beaver after he throws food at dinner? Get Eddie Haskell to spy on beaver? Wait, never hit the beaver. He's sensitive. In case you're wondering, a first strike policy is where you wipe out your enemy's weapons before they have a chance to use them. Now, Wally, it wasn't very nice to incapacitate your brother's strategic defense systems, now was it? Go to your room. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome 
the first. That's the last time I'm gonna say that. Okay, I'm gonna give you a rundown on how this works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you think you figured out the answer to a puzzle, wait until the first letter of your answer lights up. Buzz in. If you get it right, you pocket $500, and you take that letter. But you lose $500 whenever you get it wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you win the bonus. All right, is that clear? Well, it better be, because we're going. The winner drinks milk. Drink up. Championship jewelry. Ring. Unbeatable bowling score. 300. Fast cars see the checkered watch. Flag. Just one more letter, go get it. The Heisman is a what? Trophy. America's Cup Sport. Sailing. That one. First. Can you say bonus? All right, there it is. Let's keep moving. Hit your buzzer to choose the value. Coming up. Did Howard Cosell work for Century 21? Uh, you gotta get your score on the plus side here. Let's go. If your real estate agents were with the first estate, what would you expect them to wear? Habits, investments, press badges and reporters' hats, tiaras and crowns, or... During the old regime in France, clergy was referred to as the first estate. So, you're not married, but you're looking for a one-bedroom apartment. Hmm, let's see. I've got some places in hell I can show you. Okay, buzz it. I like to call this category... Chivalry isn't dead, but these authors sure are. Okay, play ball. If each of the following writers came to a doorway at the same time and someone called out, Ladies first! It would... No, Jules Verne wasn't a woman. And just so you know, he also isn't the Verne that Ernest is always talking to. <laughs> Here's the one you wanted. George Eliot was the pen name of Mary Ann Evans. Pen name? Why would you name your pen? <laughs> Alright, it's... It's roadkill time! Alright, let me tell you how this game works. I'm gonna show you various pairs of things that are somehow related. And you're gonna see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. You gotta buzz in to select the item you think correctly joins the two. I'll give you a grand if you're correct, but do choose wisely. You're gonna lose a grand every time you're wrong. And we're gonna wrap it all up with a final bonus round worth some extra cash. Uh, let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Is that clear? Good. Let's hit it. Little tiny bet and homophone of hair. What's the intersection between these two? Score. Who's Blank Royal and RC is Royal Blank Cola. and Cereal Frosted Blank. Sights to be seen and making blank of yourselves. Little Rascal Darla's surname and Thug. for a profit and supposedly collected by Native Americans. Puffin' on South Park, Mr. Blank, and Cat in the Blank. Alright, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all famous inventions? Things made out of blood! First! Seven biggest U.S. banks! The first words of the Bible! Things found on a... That's that counted! Nice job, let's move. 
the head. Shall we? That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Hey, Buzz, we're calling this one. Whose older brother isn't creepy? Hey, take a look at the following song lyrics. When you know the missing word, buzz in and start typing. No, my first name ain't Baby, it's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're buzzing and type the missing word when you know it. It's Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. I wonder what you get to call her if you're slightly cantankerous. Well, old man? I don't have a canker sore. Well... Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag. This one's called... First Class Loser. Alright, picture this. You're on an airliner and the flight's really crowded, so you get bumped into first class. Just don't talk to anybody, alright, because they don't really like your type up there. Now, as you're trying to stow your carry-on luggage, the flight attendant asks you if you'd like anything. If you tell her, just a sec, what might she bring you? An incredibly good-looking... See, it's not always one of the wacky answers. So you know what sec means. Good for you, but if you really want to belong in first class, stop sticking the peanuts in your ears. Okay. Okay, give it up for... The History of Hangin' 10. Get your buzzer finger ready, here we go. If the guy you had a hit with surfing USA in 1977 sang about the first explorer to hit the shores... Leaf and Leaf. Yeah, I sure remember that Leif Erikson poster I had in my junior high locker. Oh, hold on a sec. And, uh, I don't mean the dry champagne. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, sweet Jesus! It's a Viking attack! Everyone run for your lives! Okay, save the O's. What? The Vikings are stealing the O's. Screw you! I'm just trying to save myself in here! Jesus, was it something I said about Leif Erikson? Well, that's the first time I've ever been attacked by Vikings. <clears throat> I've got a few scrapes here and there, but other than that, I'm fine. Oh, look! Somebody left behind a funny helmet! Alright, coming up! First one to whip out their whip wins! Oh, that's great. The Vikings took our nice, round, familiar O's and left us with these scary and un-American O's. Oh, well. Because he was first cast to play the hero in Raiders of the Lost Ark, who is the lost Indiana Jones? Tom Selleck, Bruce Willis, Dan Hello? Oh, there you are. Thought I lost you. Tom Selleck was originally cast as Indy, but didn't do it because he was already committed to Magnum P.I. Gotta admire someone who puts art before commercial success. It's your buzzer to select. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The artists formerly known as, don't forget, the match has to fit that clue. Good luck.
Let's see that final score. <laughs> there it is.